What's going on, guys? Uh, this is the Eric Barber here for another hip hop interview. Today, I'm here with some absolute Detroit legends. I got Fat Father on the left and DJ Jules on the right. What's going on, guys? What's up, man? Happy to be here. Likewise. How you doing? Man, all is well. Glad to be here as well. Yes. For sure. And for the guys that aren't initiated with you guys, uh, how about you guys introduce yourselves a little bit? Well, I'm Fat Father. A lot of people call me Fit Father now because I'm 200 pounds lighter. But uh, been in, on the Detroit scene and the hip hop scene, period, for 20, about 20 years now. <laughs> Absolute. Yeah. Hey, I done been all over the world and, you know, I do this shit. Oh, is this a clean show? It's whatever show we're going to oh, be, okay. man. It's, it's a uh, Fat Father show today, yeah, man. I do this shit. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I'm DJ Jules, baby. Been DJing for a while and doing production. I put out a quite quite a few projects as well as Fat Father. We've been in the game for a minute, kind of season, and glad to be here still making music, providing good music for people to check out. Awesome. Let's go. Man, look, <laughs> Jules on that modest bullshit, man. <laughs> This is DJ Jules, baby, man. From the hip hop shop to the St. Andrews to this man has a song with MC Breed. Putting it down, my dog, flawless records. You know how we do. Like what, man? Anyway, man, come, come on, man. Let's move. <laughs> Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, Fat Father, you're really well known for a lot of your wordplay, your flows, your delivery. And, you know, my question to you is, uh, you know, how do you really practice and do better with your um, delivery continually? Man, you know what? For me, it's the it's the beat. The beat always talks to me. Like whenever I hear a track, I know whether that track is, whether I want to talk to that track, like almost instantly. When the beat come on and if the pattern starts, if we develop a language, then I know that we are compatible. And, mm -hmm. and you know, sometimes it take a little bit longer. You know, it's like, it's like meeting a woman. It's like, like sometimes we got to sit in the corner and kick it <laughs> for a minute, but sometimes it's just love at first sight. And it, you know, mm -hmm. I just get to talking. I, I can totally see that. Yeah. And, you know, Jewel, from the per, uh, producing perspective, man, yeah. I mean, is it that same love making woman process or is it just something totally different with you? Uh, it's mainly just creating, trying to create some good vibes. And uh, with Fat Father, I mean, w once we got in our flow, I, I just tried to match what he came with. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just trying to create some good music mainly. Anytime I'm creating music, that's the goal. Okay, sweet. And, you know, Fat Father, I mean, we got to talk. I mean, you used to be the Fat Father. I've seen some crazy, I guess, photos of you, you know, looking like Godzilla over the Detroit skyline and stuff, you know. But you've lost so much weight. It was over uh, COVID, right? Or was it even well, before oh, that? Yeah, it was during the the pandemic. Uh, yeah, I just locked in, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to get a grip on life. Like, really, I had to see the the blessing in my journey from from all aspects, not only being able to travel the globe and meet different people, but at the same time, man, look, God granted me all the opportunity to get in shape. And, you know, from having high blood pressure, high cholesterol, sleep apnea, I remember being on tour toting around oxygen machines, man, like a lot of people wouldn't have made it through that. So, you know, he gave me another day. To realize I had to make some changes, man, and I didn't take it for granted. Hey, man, that's an inspiration to us all, I'm sure. And do you feel like your weight loss, your health improvement, do you feel like that's improved you as an MC as well? Yeah, definitely, because I, I, I'm not even going to say improved me as an MC, but I think it improved me as a as a thinker. Like my mind is more clear now. I know. I know what I want. I know what I want to say. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, sometimes it'd be a beat. And if, if I don't have what I want to say right there, I know it's probably not meant for me yeah. because I know what I want to say now. I know how I see the world. I know how I want to present myself. I know how I want to be seen. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And, you know, DJ J Jewel, um, I guess people are kind of wondering, you know, what's the next uh, stuff that we can expect to see from you in the near future? Uh, right now, we got Grind Set Volume 2 out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's getting pretty good reviews. Okay. Um, right now, we're looking for Volume 1. We're trying to find Volume 1. 
it's lost. Oh. So we're trying to find volume one. No one knows where it is. So. All right. it, we got to find it. Somebody <laughs> spotted it. I heard it was spotted. You know what, what the saying? hell does that mean? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> told me that it was some pretty good features on there. Oh, I'm shit. talking about the legendary features. All right. Come on. Spill me. Man, I don't. I have so, to see it, actually. But. <laughs> this dude's corny man there, <laughs> all right i mean you know any, anything else we can see from you fat father in the near future yeah man you know what my son man my son is 14 uh -huh. dj oreo and he's doing this thing he's producing and, and recording and, and he's dope and man, just continuing this this fitness journey and and more grind set music and just, man, just trying to be, just trying to contribute. That that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to contribute to humanity. I love it, man. And I definitely see that with all the good vibes. You know, for those of you guys who didn't know, Fat Father was just performing the Old Miami with DJ Jewel. Everyone was really Jules, into Jules. Oh, on. I'm sorry. I heard DJ Jewel. Yeah, my bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Jules. Apologies. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll kind of end this interview on like, I want you guys to each say something nice about the other. You know, and on a positive note. Man, you just said we were corny. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I'm corny. I'm corny too. I'm I, no, no, no. Jules, Jules is cool. You're corny, bro. I'm doing it. I'm doing it because you're corny, bro. <laughs> you got something, though. Hey, man. But you know what? It's easy for me because this is my brother right here, man. And this dude right here, one thing about him, man, is everything and everybody around him all i see is him building them i don't see this man tearing shit or nobody down and that shit inspires me you let's go I mean? let's go some high some high bars from this guy is it, discipline and not just discipline and fitness but discipline as a father putting his family first uh if you ever witness him interact with his family talk about his family his priority and it's something that somebody can always uh take from and be a better husband better parent and uh and just discipline all the way around hey guys that's absolutely great to hear from both of you guys it was awesome to hear both of y'all at the old miami tonight so i'll leave all their social media links and spotify soundclouds whatever down in the description below thank you guys so much yeah. really appreciate it man Appreciate you, Jules. Yes, Thank you. Yep. Take care, guys.